Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today I have a very special video. That's right. This month, Drone Drop is here. Let's crack this baby open and let's see how we did. Alright pilots, let's see what we got inside. This month is here. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Is this month going to be good? Hold on, hold on. I want you to pause. Go down to the comments and let me know. Is this month going to be good or is it going to be bad? All right, here we go. Right off the top, I am seeing... All right, hold on. No peeking, no peeking. Right off the top, I am seeing a NERC FPV sticker pack. Now, I don't know if this month's box is possibly sponsored by NERC or maybe we got some more NERC stuff in there, you know, I'm not sure, but I do like this sticker pack. This is pretty awesome. We've got like the brick wall with the graffiti going on. This, so this is, this is pretty sweet. And then you've got some of the basic drone drop stickers with the TBS logo and the, the gold ESC. So that's pretty cool. Glad to see that. Some new sticker packs. Whoa! Right off the rip. Look what I'm seeing, guys. I am stoked about this. This is the White Noise FPV Synergy F4 Revision G. So this flight controller right here is super awesome. Plus, who doesn't love to get a flight controller in their box? I mean, this is really awesome. So White Noise, he's his own dude. His name is White Noise FPV, and he makes boards. He makes other things like mounts for VTXs. He's got a few different things that he does. He's got a couple LEDs and stuff like that. This right here, this Synergy F4, is a really sick board. It's very compact, and it's designed to hold the VTX. So if you have a Unify V3 or a Unify Pro HV, whatever you've got, it solders directly to the flight controller. I'm not going to crack it open and show you, but it's in there. And you can also, you ready for the kicker? You can solder on a crossfire receiver right onto the flight controller. You literally take the chip and you put the PC board on top of this PC board and you solder them together. So there's no straps, there's no zip ties, there's no tape, no double sided, nothing. Your wiring is good. I believe you get a harness in here that lets you connect directly to the ESC. This flight controller is really pushing the limits of fitting everything compact inside your build. Because one of the struggles when building an FPV quadcopter is where are you going to place the VTX and where are you going to place the receiver? You know, and with this board, it takes away from that. You don't have to do that anymore. You know where you're going to place it. You're going to place it right on the flight controller. And then you're going to solder it to it. It just it makes life very simple. And you don't have to sacrifice anything. All the features you had before, you still get. And we're talking about like uh, being able to do pit mode and all these other things. I believe there's a VTX switch built into this board too. So on race day, you can test your stuff without knocking everybody out of the sky. So all these kill switches they're coming out with and the VTX um, FPV Assassin, you don't need none of that. This board does it all. Let's talk about Re Revision G real quick. In Revision E, it was the very first current production batch. Then in revision F, they added some micro, uh, they added some capacitors, like a 22 micro to the 5 volt supply. They did a 0.1 to the 3 volt. They did a bunch of other stuff. They put a reverse protection diode on VBAT. They added a boot button. They added pin out silk on the bottom side of the board for the connector. And they did a few other things. They put a 10,000 pull down for the smart audio light which is basically just the unified nano. So there's some other stuff too. So they did a few of these additions and instead of adding it on and then going V2, V3, they've been doing revision, E, F, etc. Well, this now is revision G. And to be honest, I don't really know what they changed in this one. So I am excited to crack it open and find out. What I might do is go ahead and put a separate video on this. If you want to scroll down to the, to the video description and look and see if there's a link, that means I've done the video because I don't know at what time you're going to watch this video let's get back to the box so next up we have Blau oh nice we've got an ND filter and this is an ND4 just so you know if you guys didn't know you can get ND2's you can get ND8's and as you go they get different you get more filtering depending on how high the number is or how low you go but this is pretty nice ND4 is the most common filter I believe there's probably gonna be 
Well, maybe there's only one in there, but if there's two in there, that would be awesome. Any which way, I am yet to use an ND filter. So, now I have an excuse to use it. I can't wait to try this out and see what happens to my GoPro footage. I know that there's guys that don't, they will not strap a GoPro and fly without an ND filter. So I'm super excited to have this and try it out. So there we go. We're on two items in the box already, and I'm already stoked and loving it. Let's do these big blue bags because they're right in our face. And I'm going to tell you now, just like any other box, if there's three of them, you know it's the propellers. Wow, look at those. Those are sharp looking. I'm not sure how I feel about this big, like, boomerang look they got going on. But these look really cool, and I know a lot of people that, is, that swear by their Azores. That's all they fly. They won't fly nothing but them. I just haven't gotten around to trying to set. So I'm super stoked that these are in here because now I can go ahead and give them a shot. Uh, just so you know, these are 5150s. So depending how tight your build is, you might not be able to fit these because they're .1 bigger. It's nothing more than like a little tiny bit, but it's just enough if you got a tight build. You won't be able to fly these, but I know they work on my builds because I fly them all the time. Not these, but I fly the 5.1s all the time. And I'm going to tell you what, F.1 makes a huge difference. If you've got some 5.1s, but they're like a 4.6 pitch, I'm telling you, that thing flies amazing because you're getting that extra bite without having all that extra pitch these here are going to be pretty dang pitchy i'm going to tell you that so i'm curious to see how these sound how do they feel what's the prop wash going to be like i'm excited to find out so i know you're seeing this right off the top i know that you got your eyes on this me i am thrilled about this this right here is amazing this is a infield soldering iron this is awesome let's take a quick peek at this now you see here we got the plug and it comes with this little adapter right here. Uh, we plug that in there and now I'm out in the field. I can use an XT60 and go ahead and make me a field repair. Now what else do you need if, you got a, if you've got a soldering iron? You're out in the field, you need to repair, you got a soldering iron, you need only one other thing. And they went ahead and they threw that in. And it's TBS brand and it is rosin core. So now I have a whole field repair kit basically. All I got to do is go throw this in my bag. You can just throw that to the side and buy yourself the wall plug-in. And now you've got an actual soldering iron that you're going to use at the house with a plug. Endless power. You can solder for days. I do want to show you guys one quick trick with this. I'm going to call that a bonus tip. And I'm going to do that at the end of the video. What else do we have? We have the infamous, amazing, awesomeness, TBS Crossfire Immortal T V2 antenna. So they did update these. We were running the regular Immortal T's, and then they all left the shelves. You couldn't find them anymore, and then these popped up. And now we've got the V2s, and I'm absolutely in love with the V2s. I feel like they're more durable. I just, I really like them. They, they did used to have that little red thing on there. I didn't really care for that, so I'm happy to have this. I do got to say... I go through a lot of these. It is nonstop that this is getting bent up, landing in my props, getting eaten alive, and then I'm putting on a new antenna. So this right here is an awesome treat to have inside of any box. All right, guys, time for the pro tip. All right, pilots, so I want to go ahead and do a quick little pro tip. This is something really cool. It's very simple and very smart in my opinion. I don't know if there's something wrong with doing this. I don't know if everybody else does this. I'm not sure. So go ahead and bite my head off in the comments if you need to. But I want to show you guys this. And also one other quick thing about this soldering iron. I'm sure it's just some cheap Chinese soldering iron. But I did not find on here range of input voltage for this. So I don't know if it's okay to use a 6S pack. I'm not sure. So do not risk that unless you've looked it up and checked. If anybody does know or the specs for this have come out, please drop them in the comments and I'll pin it to the top so people can know what they're getting when they get this. Go ahead and plug in your soldering iron. Bam. Now you're live and pumping. This thing will probably be hot in no time. Oh, there it goes. It's heating up now. That took a minute to start heating up. 
So now here's the deal, right? So I've got my battery pack, I've got my soldering iron. I'm doing my soldering and I'm soldering, but because I'm running off a pack, I have no idea to know how far can I go until I destroy this light bulb. So what am I going to do? Well, here's where my pro tip comes in. Watch this. Okay? So now I am at 18% as you can see and I can go ahead and just, I mean you can literally just leave this together. Just leave those two. Do your soldering that you got to do, but glance over and take a look. See how fast you're running everything down. I'm at 18%. I don't want to take this too low. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my meter on it. I'm going to do my soldering and every once in a while I'm going to glance over. I'm going to see how much power I have on my battery. Oh, look, down to 17. You got to keep an eye on this. So this thing's starting to smoke now. That's kind of sketch. <laughs> uh oh. All right, so anyways, and now you have a meter. As you can see, just for talking for 45 seconds, I've already gone to 16%. So what that does is that puts me in a manner, if I'm soldering and I'm concentrating or I set this down, I don't want to forget and burn up a lipo. This thing's smoking pretty hard. I don't know if that's normal or not. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug on this. Look at that. Shoo! That's sketch. I want to say one thing about this. You guys saw how this was smoking. That was a four cell and it was almost dead. So I couldn't imagine if this was at 99% uh, lipo or a 5S or a 6S. So be careful, guys. All right, but it's time for our recap. We do that at the end of every box. First up, we have our super awesome, super cool, bring to the field and enjoy sketchy ass soldering iron. We also have a very cool adapter so we can bring it out to the field and plug it in with any lipo. We have an awesome ND filter, gotta love that for the GoPro. We've got a freaking flight controller. I am stoked about that. It's a new, hot, super cool flight controller. We've also got our solder, so we have our field solder. We've got an awesome sticker pack. And then we've got one, two, three sets of 5150s by Azure Power. We've got an immortal T antenna. Can't go wrong with that. You've got to have that. And that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this month's drone drop. I hope you guys liked it. I am really, really happy about this box. I think everything in this box is something I can use and I can't wait to put on and use. I think that this month's box was super awesome. I'm going to use everything in here. I hope that you guys like this month's box. But I don't know. Did you like it? Go down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you on the next one.